Big announcement from Microsoft on the Windows 10 family of products around the end of life and the support. Let's get into that. The last week of April, uh, Mr. Jason Lesnick posted a blog that we're looking at here, and it had a lot of good information, specifically around Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, I did a separate video on the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC product, so you'll want to check out that video. This video, I'm going to talk about the Windows 10 announcement that he made public available here. And so as you look at this, um, the, the thing that's important to know is that he doesn't have anything on the LTSC uh, the IoT, the Windows 10 IoT products here. So if you look at this is Windows 10 Enterprise and Education, Windows 10 Home and Pro, there is a statement right here though. Existing LTSC releases will continue beyond the date based on their specif specific life cycles. So that's just letting you know that the long-term service channel, Windows 10 products, have longer dates than what he's referencing here. So but let's focus on what he is mentioning here, which is that uh, the biggest piece of this news is that there is not going to be a 23H2 version of Windows 10. Build 22H2 is the last version of Windows 10. No more after that. That is the last build, and we have the official end of support date right there of October 14th, 2025. And that is when there will be no more security patches, no more hot fixes, no more tech support for a Windows 10 product. So if you happen to be building a solution for your customer and you've decided to use Windows 10 Professional, you're building a solution that has less than basically two years of support uh, because in October of 2025, there will be no more support. And that's just not a good solution to offer. So in those cases, you will absolutely want to look at moving to the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 product, which will get you up to 2031, 2032 timeframe. Plenty of years left on life and support. Regular Windows Home and Pro, regular Windows Enterprise and Education Editions are all done come October 2025. Um, and Build 22H2 is the last edition. If you scroll down here, you'll see the reference to the Windows 11 LTSC. I cover that in another video. And lastly, I mean, that is it. It's a very short blog, but this is the public announcement from Microsoft on those products. And I'll leave you with a nice nugget that uh, if you want to have some entertainment, scroll down to the bottom and look at all of these comments that are left down here. Uh, and it's not uncommon. Once Microsoft ends a product, everyone uh, is not happy about that, right? Uh, through my 30 years of supporting Microsoft, pretty much every version of Windows 10, you have that. You have those customers and those people who just absolutely do not want to move to the next version. It was that way, absolutely that way for XP and absolutely that way for Windows 7. And it will absolutely be that way for Windows 10. So again, if you need a longer life cycle on your Windows 10 product, and you want to stick with Windows 10 for many more years, check out the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 product. Get with us here at Arrow. Thank you guys for watching.